Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I showed you how to root your Jimmy Vacuum robot and install Vale to do, so everything runs locally, faster, safer, and more private. Today, we are taking the next step. I will show you how to integrate Vale to do with Home Assistant and set up a simple but powerful automation so your robot automatically starts cleaning when nobody's home. Let's get started. From Windows, we can go to File Explorer, to Network, and we find here our robot. This is the default name of Vale to do robots. Double click it. As you see, I have already created the map. Now let's change Valetudo robot name. We go to home to Valetudo, custom friendly name. We save it. Now we go to connectivity to MQTT. We enable MQTT. We enter MQTT IP and port. Check credentials, enter username and password. Check home assistant at the integrations. At the topic prefix leave it Valetudo and identifier I just put robot 1F from first floor. Check provide map data and I also exposed uh, all these capabilities to Home Assistant. Before pressing save configuration, we go to Home Assistant, to settings, device and services. And here at MQTT, we can see that I have 32 devices connected. And after I save configuration in Valedudo, it will show us connected. And if we go back to Home Assistant, we have 33 devices. Back on first floor. Here we have all the settings. Now that the vacuum is connected to Home Assistant, let's create a card to view the map and control the robot. Back to overview, I've created a map card with a few control options such as vacuum power, room selection and a button to clean the selected room. The design is very basic, it's just a starting point. You can customize it further using a theme and a custom button, but that's not the focus of this video. First we need to create an input select with all the rooms and then a script that cleans the selected room. Let's go to File Editor, click here, now on Configuration, and here we add this code. I will leave all the codes in the description. Here is the entity, this is very important, the name, the rooms available for selection, default selected option, and an icon. Save it. After making changes to configuration file, we need to reload the YAML configuration in Home Assistant. Developer options, check configuration. If you see this message, reload the configuration by pressing here. Now let's go to settings, automations and scenes, scripts, create a script, create new script, and on top right, on these three dots, click on them, edit in YAML. You find the code in the description. Here it's input select entity, here is the topic and the identifier from MQTT configuration. In the variables section, we need to enter segment ID for each room. To find the ID for your segments, go to developers, to states, set state, select an entity, type seg, select your vacuum, I will select the vacuum from the first floor, and you have here all the segments with the IDs in front. The name of the input select one more time, and save script. Rename, back on the three dots, Edit in Visual Editor, click on it, we can remove this delay, add action, device, here we select our robot, vacuum first floor, and select this option, save script, let's reload the configuration one more time, back to overview, first I will remove it and show you how to create it from scratch, click on the pen, add card, go to the bottom, Click on manual and paste the code. The entity of the robot, so the topic and the prefix from MQTT configuration, the title, map scale, you can zoom in on zoom out the map, rotate the map in degrees, but entities, one more time, the topic and the prefix of the robot here in the middle, the name of the select, entity of input select that we just created, the name for it, and the script. Now let's save it. Done. Now we can select the vacuum power, the room, and now let's clean it. Before setting up the automation, we need to define a zone for the home location. Settings, areas, labels, and zones. Zones, create zone, home, YouTube. Select the home on the map. Now click on create.
Now we'll check which devices are connected to Home Assistant and select our main phone for this automation, as Home Assistant will use it to determine our location. Devices and services, type here MOB, click on mobile app. Here are all my devices connected with Home Assistant. This is my phone. We will need two user profiles, one for me and one for my wife. Each profile needs to be assigned a tracker device. I've already created profiles for both myself and my wife, but let's create an example profile to show you how easy it is. I'm going back, people, add person, choose a name, allow login, type a password, confirm it, create. Now let's go down, select an entity. I will choose my phone, select it, create. Now I will delete this profile because I already have mine created here and we'll use this one for automations. Finally, we need to create an input text. This will act like a variable where we store the cleaning date, helping us ensure the vacuum doesn't run more than once per day. File editor, click on this folder, configuration.yaml, go to the bottom, create a new line and paste this code. Save it. Now we go to developers. Check configuration. If you see this message, reload the configuration by pressing here. Let's go ahead and create the automation. I will move quickly through the steps and then I will explain each part and how it all works. I made a small change to the automation, which I will explain in a moment. We have two triggers. If either Adrian or Alina state changes from home to away, the automation will be triggered. This is based on our phone GPS location. First, it will check if none of us are at home. And here is the change that I made. I added two more conditions that are checking if our phone IP addresses are connected to the home network. If these conditions are met, it will go to the last condition. This will check if the current date is different than the date that we saved inside of the input text last cleaning date. If all these conditions are met, the automation will proceed. First, it will send the start command to the both vacuums. This means the vacuums will start cleaning the whole house. After that, it will store the current date inside of the input text last cleaning date. This way, even if the automation is triggered again on the same day, it won't run the cleaning again since the house has already been cleaned once that day. Here is how it works in practice. On my home assistant dashboard, I have live maps for both vacuums, one for ground floor and one for upstairs. You can also see two presence badges, one for me and one for my wife. Now as we both leave the house, our statuses change from home to away. And that's when the automation kicks in. Start cleaning. Both robots are cleaning. You can see them leave their dogs in real time. On the live cleaning maps, you can follow their full path as they move through the house. I sped this part up to keep it short, but you get the idea, everything runs automatically, no buttons pressed. So that's why I got my vacuum robot to start cleaning when I'm away. If this was useful, please like and subscribe, and drop a comment to share how you automated yours. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.